Even though we usually create indexes for all records, it's possible to create an index for a subset of the records. An index created on a subset of the data will be smaller than one created without a filter. This will result in an improvement in performance when the index has to be scanned. For a use case, consider a table that acts as a task management handler. Records that represent tasks needed to be done will be flagged opened. Likewise, tasks that are already processed will be marked with a done flag. After a while, the number of records with flag open will form a tiny subset of the total dataset. Most records will have the flag set to done. However, it's likely that the user will want to query records with open flag. Creating an index for these records where the flag is open will be better than creating an index for the entire dataset. Indexing main purpose is to speed up things as much as possible. As with all the good stuff, indexing comes with a trade-off, that is, space consumption. If your table consists of 10 million integer values, the index defined on the table will actually contain these 10 million integer values plus additional overhead. A B3 index will contain a pointer to each row in the table, and so it is certainly not free to store. We can see how much space an index will occupy by calling the following command backslash di plus. In comparison, here's the amount of storage for the actual tables backslash dt plus. The size of both tables combined is just around 195 megabytes. In comparison, our three indexes need more space than the actual data. In the real world, this is actually a common thing. Therefore, it's really important to measure the actual use of an index and compare it with its cost. Remember that these indexes don't just consume space. Every insert or update must maintain the values in the indexes as well. Finally, this vastly decreases the write throughput. But if the table has just a few distinct values, partial indexes are a solution. If you remember, our test indexing table had just two distinct values, Alice and Bob. Therefore, we can drop that index and create a new one. Drop index on the name column, create index on test indexing table on the name column where name is not Bob or Alice. In this case, the majority have been excluded from the index, and the small, efficient index can be enjoyed. Note that it only makes sense to exclude very frequent values that make up a large part of the table, at least 25% or so. Ideal candidates for partial indexes are gender, we assume that most people are male or female, nationality, assuming that most people in your country have the same nationality, and so on. Of course, applying this kind of configuration requires some deep knowledge of your data, but it certainly pays off. If you found this video helpful, you could check the whole course on Udemy using the link in the description. By using that link, you'll get a 60% discount. I hope you'll get on board to find more tips like this to optimize your PostgreSQL like a pro.